Hey everyone, today I wanted to give you guys a little history on cannabis and what a big role that really plays um, here on earth. It is an herb, right? And it has so many stigmas behind it. But I wanted to tell you some history so you can really see um, how many benefits that plant has and what role it's played, especially here in the United States. So um, cannabis itself, um, from that plant, you can make, from the hemp plant, you can make clothes, you can make shoes, you can make houses out of it, and it's actually the one of the only um, um, things that you can make a house out of, and then instead of getting brittle with, uh, with years, it actually gets harder. So that component, the way they do it to build houses, it gets harder. So your house gets stronger if you make it out of hemp. Um, and also, it is also medicine, right? We know about CBD and just the plant in whole. It is very, very beneficial. So, um, so I just wanted to get on here and really tell you guys like about this plant and how it plays a role. So here it is. Did you guys know that our constitution is written on hemp paper? You guys probably didn't know that. Well, our very first president of the United States, George Washington, would grow marijuana. He would grow the plant. And it was actually the very first law that they had about marijuana, or it was encouraged, was for everybody to have a plant. Because this world, this new world they call it, the Americas, was founded in independence. And to be able to grow your own you know, food and medicine and, and you can be independent. That's what this great um, land was built on and it was based on God. And um, so of course they wanted you to grow your own plan and, and be able to be sufficient. Well, obviously you know that changed. Uh, back in um, the early 1920s, my uh, grandfathers from my mom's side um, all lived in, um, I want to say, oh my gosh, I can't even remember, Oklahoma, sorry, they lived in Oklahoma. So they had all their children here. And again, if you guys have seen my last videos, um, we were, uh, were part of, um, I have Jewish blood, so my family has been uh, protecting basically um, like the traditions and the different um, remedies and things that... Um, God's people wanted the world to know and how to heal your body. So uh, we come from that, you know, I have Jewish blood and, but that's a different video. Anyways, getting back to this, um, my mom, um, my mom wasn't born in the United States. She was the only one that was uh, born in Mexico. So my grandparents had all their kids here in the United States. And remember the Americas is also Mexico, but then they put borders, right? Um, so they, they ended up um, leaving the Americas, um, or at least the United States, because um, my grandparents grew marijuana. Like, they, they knew that marijuana was very good, and um, they used it um, in remedies. They would put it, they put the leaves in alcohol, and they would use it as rubbing alcohol, and... Um, and um, so he got in trouble for having marijuana because by that time they made it an illegal substance. They said it was a drug. So my grandfather ended up going to Mexico. So when he went to Mexico, he ended up having my mom there. So my mom was born in Mexico. She's the only one from her siblings that was actually born in Mexico. So by the time they got to Mexico, um, marijuana was had the stigma that it was um, against the law and that it was in it wasn't good and obviously that all happened because they didn't want people to be independent um, so they created that so by the time my mom was born um, they didn't want to even talk about the plant they they, they thought you know we're not gonna get in trouble um, it was 19 my mom was born in 1932 so by then again they didn't want to talk about the plant they would still use it like in alcohol and stuff but it wasn't very common so my grandmother would tell my mom the story about baby Jesus that when he was born his diapers were made out of this plant and that they named this plant yerba buena because from that plant um, everything was made you know they can make homes they can make his diapers it was medicine so it was like the plant that did it all but 
because it, marijuana had a stigma behind it, my grandmother, by the time my mom was born, changed it and said, oh, la yerba buena is menta, which is the mint. So she started to say that it was the mint and not the marijuana because obviously they didn't want to say even the word um, because my grandfather almost went to jail for it. And again, it was classified as a drug. So they, they didn't want to uh, associate it. So they would say that the mint plant was, you know, from the ground and it was given from God, obviously, and that it really has a lot of benefits, which it does. And we get back to that all plants and all herbs are beneficial. But I really wanted to give you guys a little rundown about um, the history about cannabis. Like, it, it's like we were meant for all of us, you know, to grow our plants. And, and that's why it's like such a beautiful moment, even though we're going through all this chaos, like a lot of things are being revealed right now. And that's the time that we're in, where we're actually seeing really the truth about everything. Now, here in California, uh, marijuana is legal. And finally, like right now, even though with all the chaos, they're open. Why? Because they're really beneficial, especially with this time. There's, I mean, I don't promote for you guys just to go get um, THC, which is what gives you a little bit of a head change. I'm telling you to go try the cannabis, like the cannabis side where you can do um, CBD and even the plant in whole. If you're of age, you're definitely able to try this. There's edibles, there's different things, and it really helps you because they're um, herbs. It's herbs that heal your body. And again, I'm gonna go into Revelations 22. It says in Revelations 22 that the leaves will heal his nations. God's nations will be healed with his leaves. So there you go, guys. So cannabis is a very good plant because it's also an herb and it's the only plant that you can build a house, clothe yourself, heal yourself, so, and even protect yourself from radiation. They did a study as well that if you would put um, plants all around you, it would soak it all up. There's different plants that do, uh, do that. They put bad stuff into positive things. So remember that um, God loves you guys and we're in this together and we're going to be okay. We're gonna really be able to get out of this, but remember that we need to alkaline our body. So sending you guys a lot of love and I hope this was beneficial. And if it was, if you guys um, got some, uh, something out of it, just go ahead and press the like and share it because remember sharing is caring and the more people are aware, the better it is. So sending you guys a lot of love and enjoy this beautiful day. Bye-bye.